God bless in Jesus name through the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, y'all. The lesson, the title of this lesson is Tithes and Offerings. This is going to cut a lot of people up. A lot of people. Uh, I can't think of one church that don't take up tithes and offerings their way, not God's way. No pastor, listen close now, no pastor, prophet, apostle, or minister in scripture ever testified of paying or receiving tithes from income. Tithes has been changed around into money. If you have a question, I advise you to ask your pastors about these two scriptures that I'm going to give you. Ain't no way around these scriptures, but every church will avoid these scriptures to get money out your pocket. The more you seek, the more you seek God, the more He will open your eyes and show you the unseen and reveal to you the truth. It's a lot of tradition going on, a lot of tradition being put forth before God, and it's time to come out. God is giving you time to come out. But he will get you out. And I'm coming from the Leviticus chapter 27, verse 30 and 32. And all the time of the land. Oh, so you mean you tell me in this scripture, Ty ain't talking about money. Every, uh, from what I was told is every time you see the word tie, it's talking about money. All and all of the and all the tie of the land, whether of the seed of the land or the fruit of the tree. Money don't grow money don't grow on trees, so can't be talking about money. It's the Lord's. It is holy unto the Lord. And if a man will at all redeem out of his tithes I know y'all. Every time you hear the word tie, you think of money, huh? He shall add thereto the fifth part thereof and concerning the tie of the herd. Tie of the herd. Well, I, still, I still don't see where money come in at. Or of the flock. Even of whatsoever passeth under the rod, the tenth shall be holy unto the Lord. The tenth of the flock. I thought it was the tenth of your income. Mm, mm, mm. See y'all. That's why we got to study. You got to study, study, study. Seek and you shall find. Just keep seeking. I mean, common sense will tell you. Uh, I mean, money is the root of all evils. 
And that's the main thing being passed around in church. So, money sh shouldn't be the reason you take positions in church. The Holy Spirit should lead you to do it for free. I got a question for y'all. Would God give money to a homeless man or somebody or somebody in need or in the church building that has 500000 to a million dollars already in the church fund? I don't know how many times people pass up people in need and homeless people paying money in an offering plate that that money couldn't win in their hands 